Angela Merkel has been handed an embarrassing blow after a German court said European Union rules apply to the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline. The project is not exempt from EU rules that require the owners of pipelines to be different from the suppliers of gas that flows in them to ensure fair competition, the court ruled. The Dusseldorf Higher Regional Court dismissed a bid by Russian-owned Gazprom to overturn the German network agency's decision to impose the Brussels measures. It means the Nord Stream 2 project, which pumps natural gas from Russia to Germany, could be fined by Eurocrats if it fails to copy with the EU regulations. However, the ruling does not have any impact on the construction of the project, which is expected to be completed this month. Technically, the EU rules don't prevent turning on the gas taps, but Gazprom would have to restructure Nord Stream 2 to bring it into compliance. Refinitv gas analyst Zun Peng said, Russia's Gazprom will be forced to auction pipeline capacity, which could delay deliveries further. EU rules require firms that produce, transport and distribute gas within the bloc to be separate, known as unbundled. The regulations are designed to ensure fair competition and stop companies from obstructing competitors' access to infrastructure. This means the company transporting gas must auction its capacity to third parties. The operator of Nord Stream 2 argues that the rules, amended in 2019, were designed to bring the project to its knees. Many EU governments strongly oppose the pipeline, some of whom see it as a Russian state attempt to increase the bloc's reliance on Russian gas. Nord Stream 2 said the German court's decision highlighted the discriminatory effect of the EU's so-called gas directive. The Kremlin said the ruling was a corporative issue, adding that the consortium should take care of it itself. Spokesman Dmitry Peskov said, We can only reiterate that the Nord Stream 2 is a purely commercial project aimed at significantly strengthening European energy security. The consortium behind the pipeline includes five Western oil and utility companies, Uniper, Winters Hall D, Royal Dutch Shell, OMV and NG, who put up 50% of the funding.